Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. And today, guys, I'll be showing you how to get uh, a gorilla, how to make a gorilla tag fan game using Goat app because Unity is just kind of, uh, you know, just complicated. But I'm just going to first go to the, one of the links in the description, and I'll search up Goat gorilla tag movement. It should say Miz or whatever his name is. Click code. Click download zip. Oops, I forgot to. Uh, where is it? Right here. And then just double click that. Open. And then drag this and copy it to downloads. And then once it's in downloads, right here, you want to uh, go to Godot. Click import. And um, I'm just going to press this arrow up. Arrow up. And then I'm going to go to downloads, and then I'll go to, um, wherever it is, not this one, alright, click this one, select this folder, import and edit, and I might say that, but it doesn't really matter, so, once you go, it might load in, take a second to load in, but, <clears throat> just takes a second but it'll have this little auto run map but like I'm just gonna just do this another link in the description I'm using Opera GX and I can't get any sponsors so uh screw you Opera GX Bruh. new tag just map 3d model and I'll just click not low poly because this is the best one that I've actually found mm. But, um, the, the next thing you want to do, I'm just going to minimize that so it doesn't mess up anything. I'm just going to go to downloads, and then I'll go down to, uh, Gorilla Tag Movement, and I'll just, uh, open it. You're going to want to do, and all I got to do next is just unzip it. Once you unzip it, you'll get it, uh, right here, and then I'll just drag in it right here. So it should like click or just start importing. That's what it say. Should say. And, it, and then now I will just um click X R origin. The next thing I would want to do is I want to click this little drop down arrow, click the little gorilla tag map, scene.gltf. It will lag there, so I have the whole map. Now I may be thinking Oops. Alright, bet. Let me, uh, load up VR. Mmm, cheeseburger. But, nope, you actually have to add colliders, which is kind of a big oof, because colliders are very annoying to add. And, uh, so I'll just go ahead and just, like, put my guy inside the map, wherever. So he'll just spawn up there, whatever. But, um... So I'm just going to grab XR Origin, and you see, you click on this, this whole Sketchfab scene, and you, like, you can't do anything, like, add a mesh instance on anything, is if you right-click Sketchfab scene, and then you click Editable Children, a... So now you can click on this, like, right here, and then... You can click mesh and then add tri mesh static body. So now the inside of it will have all this, which means it has a collision shape, so you will actually like be able to stand on it. But an easier way to do all this is click this little button right here and then hold shift. What? Nope. Hold shift and just do all that and then click mesh try my static body and do that for like a lot of it so i'm just going to do that for most of this all that all that good stuff so now i would have all of these actual editable things so if i just do this mesh play try my static body and you don't have to like go through all this to just find this just click on it 
If you want to do individual thing, individual things, click this, mesh, try mesh static body. Uh, so for this, it might be a little bit hard, but we could just do this and just do all of that. Mesh, try mesh static body. I cannot do this before for some reason. Do all that. Mesh. Try my static body. Wah. Cupcake. Shut up! Cupcake! Alright, next, mountains. Wow, a lot of it's already done. So, like, you add a trimester static body when you click on this, and, uh, yeah, so I really do not like this map. Uh, man, that ain't scary. You can download this, uh, this beautiful monkey model link in description. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> Thank you.